Well, we'll let everybody get in here. Looks like it might be busy. Might be a busy one. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Nice to see everybody. Made it? Yes, 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 yes. Have everybody put little questions in there. There were a couple questions I saw as well too, which we'll also cover on too as well, but let everybody join. It's funny, as I just did a TikTok live, I decided to do one, haven't done one in a while. It was crazy, and then they censored it, and then it dropped to 10 people. So, it's crazy. We have people following us now, and we're getting messages saying, you know, warning, this person puts up misinformation, are you sure you wanna follow them? Just nuts, just crazy times. Let everybody get in here. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, hello. All right. Let everybody hop in here. All lives recorded because I'm in the shower. You're in the shower while you're literally watching this. You can get electrocuted. <laughs> it's crazy. But um, yes, we do, we do record all of them and I do post them up on YouTube and I do post them up on Rumble. And then now I started linking them on Telegram and then I put them on our website pretty much everywhere now. You know, it's, it's just, I, I'm trying to put our content every single spot and try to put it all out everywhere because the this, this censorship nonsense, the shadow banning, all of this, whatever, is just crazy. And yes, I forgot, I forgot that the iPhone is waterproof. But uh, yeah, we're, we're starting to, I'm putting up everything on all different types of platforms just because the fact of the censorship is nuts and it's just good to put the information out there and I hope that it can resonate with somebody and I hope that it can help heal them, you know? And so, yeah, I just I figured I will start with a couple things. So we launched our new, which I'll put this up here too, launched our new Pearl capsules, if you can see them. And then we also launched our new Dragon's Blood capsules. So if you've tried any of our products with Dragon's Blood or Pearl, you will love them in capsules, that's for sure, because now you can just pop them and go. And then we also have our new Shilajot tablets, which have been just flying off the shelf as well too. They're very nice because you can just pop those and go, but make sure you take them with a source of fat. But with the pearl powder, what you'll notice is you'll notice your eyes will be a little bit better because pearls are really good for healing the eyes. You'll notice your skin will be better. You'll notice you'll sleep better. You'll notice that your bones will feel better. If you have inflammation, sorry about that. If you have inflammation or pain, pearl powder can work really well with that. And then dragon's blood works really good for the skin. It's a great blood tonic. It cleans out everything, cleans out the organs, cleans out everything from the body. It's been shown with studies to resolve H. pylori, parasites, any type of stuff going on inside the microbiome in the gut. So I'm excited to launch those and I've been trying to put up the videos, but as you can see, the views just dropped because both social media platforms, TikTok and Instagram, have been shadow banning and censoring our page a lot as well too. So if you have any questions about any topics, you can just comment them below and then I will hit on them and start talking about them as well too. But somebody was asking about simple solutions for EMF and that I would look into some black tourmaline. You could put black tourmaline in your house, but the other biggest thing that you can do is getting rid of your Wi-Fi, right? The problem with Wi-Fi is that it pings 24 seven, 365 at a 2.4 gig, uh, gigahertz. We make the supplements of the, of, if you're asking who makes the supplements, we actually have a, a company, we, we produce all of them and make sure that they're sourced and all organic and all natural. But with the Wi-Fi, it pings at a uh, 2.4 gigahertz, which is the frequency of a microwave. So when you have your Wi-Fi on in your house, you're basically emitting a microwave frequency throughout the house. And now with the new internet that they have that's even faster, this five gigahertz, whatever it is, then you're emitting another spectrum of the microwave in your home. So that's pinging and then that affects the mind. It also affects the eyes, it burns out the eyes. It also affects your organs and it also makes it so that you can't sleep. A lot of people, when they start getting rid of Wi-Fi out of their home, they start sleeping like a baby. And it's fascinating because the, the Wi-Fi is, bringing Wi-Fi into the home is like bringing, in my opinion, like a weapon into the house because it's consciously altering the waves that are around us and also the, mag, the electromagnetic frequencies and attacking the pineal gland. Your third eye right here, which is right connected into here, shows, basically connects you to be able to see through everything. And when Wi-Fi is pinging and all of these frequencies are pinging, it actually blocks the ability for you to use this and also impacts the frontal cortex, which is where all of our thought process goes. That's why a lot of times when a person's sitting on the phone and they'll be looking at it, they'll be looking at it like this, and you go to ask them something, they'll forget because that frontal cortex is being connected into the phone and then also being impacted by the frequencies as well too. 
Someone was asking as well, any advice on menopause? So if you're going through many type of menopause, you want to look at different types of natural um, hormone balancers like DIM, or you can even look at broccoli as well too. Lots of broccoli, lots of cauliflower. And then you want to be aware of the chemicals that are in your home. Because the problem is that a lot of things such as soaps, such as shampoos, such as all these different things, they can have toxins in them, which alter your hormones and then would make menopause a lot worse, right? Because what's happening is your body's going through a hormonal change. And if you have toxins coming in, then it makes everything a lot worse. So the biggest thing would be doing is all organic diets, cleaning up your diet, and then also making sure that your home or your terrain is removed from toxins like fragrances, such as BPA, PF, uh, those the, polyeth the polyethanes, all these different chemicals that can alter your hormones will also impact your menopause. You can also look into our six mix blend we have on our website or Shillashot because Shillashot has studies showing that it can help balance out hormones. So it works really well for that. If you're suffering from even like PCOS or anything related to hormones, Shillashot can work really well for that because of the studies that have shown that it balances out the hormones on either the estrogen side or the testosterone side. Because what's happening is anybody suffering from a hormonal imbalance is just having basically either too much testosterone or too much estrogen. And Shilajot can come in there and balance those out. Because when one's producing too much, you can have, for example, the, the estrogen balance out itself because it's how hormones work. It's like yin to yang, so the same exact thing. So I would look into, like I said, our Shilajot and our Six Mix, and then also cleaning up your diet and then making sure that there's not a lot of chemicals going into your body. Just check off like your soaps, your shampoos, and your cleaning products. Those would be the top three, right? Because the soap you're putting on your body, let's say every day, uh, the shampoo you're putting in your hair, which is gonna go, your hair is connected right into your skull, which is gonna go into the rest of your body and your thyroid, which is connected to your hormones. And then when you look at your soap that you wash your clothes in, you're wearing these clothes for X amount of hours per day. So you wanna be aware of the toxins that are in those as well too, because you know, a lot of people don't realize that a lot of these, these soaps and these, and yes, another one said deodorant as well. Yes, deodorants have propylene glycol, which is antifreeze in there. Those can mess up your hormones and destroy your body as well too. So you wanna be aware of all the things that you're using. And it's simple to just do like a checklist of what you're using throughout the day. Even if you just write it down, like what did I do? Like I brush my teeth with X amount of C, X amount of C's, I'm sorry, X with, with this. I consumed this, I drank this, I ate this, I used this soap. And as you make all that awareness created through those checklists, right, now you can start to understand, hmm, one of these things are probably causing a hormonal imbalance that I'm not paying attention to. And now you can start looking through the ingredients of all of those things and go through the chart and you can start to understand, hmm, this one might be messing me up. This one might be doing this. And it's interesting because when you start dissecting all of those things, and it's very simple to just go through, but as you start dissecting those things, you might start to notice, oh my gosh, my, my soap has fragrance in it, right? My soap has a petroleum chemical in it. Um, you know, maybe the, the, the food I'm eating, there's, there's canola oil or safflower oil or sun, soybean oil or something. You know, there's a lot of these different things that are hiding in these foods so it's important to be aware of every single thing that you're consuming and then also whatever is in your air too, right? Because if you have like those little wicks, they're like those little wicks things or whatever those, those things that spray mists and all that, those mess up your hormones. There's 13,000 different chemicals in those and they will destroy your hormones. So anything scented, you definitely want to get rid of because that's the one of the biggest things that plays a role on your hormones as well too. So I hope that can help with the menopause and all different types of solutions and you can also barefoot ground, right? You can barefoot ground for anything because when you connect with nature, your body begins to go into balance as well too and starts to restore itself. That's the magic of being in nature. Let me see what we got in here too. We got a couple other ones. Thank you. Doo, doo, doo. What are your thoughts on the brown gas for healing? I've read into the brown gas. I just have to watch the Tinfoil Hat podcast on the full information. I've seen it before numerous times on YouTube. I just didn't know much about it. So I'm definitely gonna watch that podcast and then get on it. But a lot of people were telling me that me and that guy, the brown gas guy, should do a podcast because it actually relates to electroculture and gardening and healing and all of that with hydrogen. I think it's with hydrogen. So, I mean, anything with hydrogen is very beneficial to the body. So I will definitely watch that. And then as soon as I do, I'll let you know about the brown gas for healing. But I've heard great things. Like I've heard tremendous things. And, you know, I always, I, I'm very particular on who I talk about, 
what I promote anybody who what it may be, but I have heard great things about the brown gas on a lot of different websites from like the past that are not no longer secure or dangerous as they would say or whatever else. But I have heard a lot of positive things about his work before he was on Sam's podcast as well too. So let's see what else we got. What is an alternative I've heard of putting snake plants and plants help pull the EMF? So black tourmaline is one you can, if you put plants in your house, they'll absorb the EMF, but they might pass away, unfortunately. The other alternative would be to turn off your Wi-Fi and put a hard wire, right? For example, like I have a hard wire connected into my phone and you just hardwire all of your devices. And then whenever you need the internet, you can just plug it into your devices. That would be the other one. You can look into different types of organite as well too. There's different types of organite towers and things you can bring into your home. There's some different types of scalar technology as well. Um, you know, you just have to be careful because sometimes like some of this stuff is like a snake oil salesman thing. So it's important to be aware of who you're purchasing from. The other thing you can do for healing your cells is obviously six mix and chill shot. Six mix, the whole reason I put together that blend was I put a mushroom called Mishima in there. And that mushroom was shown to help remove radiation from the body. Because when the bombs were dropped in Japan, they noticed that a certain island was consuming Mishima mushroom and they had no radiation poisoning. So that's why I put that blend together and put Mishima in our six mix. And so that's a really great tonic for helping the cells. because. The thing is with all these frequencies and all this nonsense that we face and blah, 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 it's constantly bombarding us all the time. And we need stuff to help us repair and restructure because what it's doing, it's breaking down the cellular wall faster and faster and faster. That's why people have injuries for longer periods of time. Let's say they hurt, a, they hurt their knee or they hurt their back. They're injured for weeks or months now because the EMF is slowing down their ability to heal. So it's important to bring in superfoods into the body also cleaning up the diet and removing heavy metals out of the diet can be a big one too because heavy metals will attract emf as well makes you one big antenna that's why we saw back in 2020 2021 you saw people taking magnets and they were sticking them to their arms and all kinds of body parts that's because they have heavy metals built up in their body and they are now an antenna walking around and those magnets can stick to their chest and everything else so those would be my couple solutions for the emf situation also too depending on your lights if you have LED lights, get rid of those and switch to incandescence. If you can't switch to incandescence, switch to halogens. So uh, halogens or incandescence, whichever one you can do, because a lot of the new LED lights have Wi-Fi in them, which is completely mind blowing that they'd even do this because it's just whatever, it's diabolical. But LEDs are definitely one you wanna get rid of as well too, because the blue light, the blue light messes it up, the frequencies mess up your mind, they mess up your brain. And then on top of that, they can also ping Wi-Fi and connect to your phone and all your devices, which should be illegal, in my opinion. Let's see what else we got in here. Someone else said, someone else, thank you. I need to order more Shilajad, I love it. Yes, the Shilajad is magical. Especially now, with even with the tablets, it's just pop and go, and you are supercharged all day. And we've been getting tons of messages, regardless of the censorship and everything else, we've been getting tons of messages of people just loving the Shilajad, and just popping them, and they're just like superhuman, which is what we wanted to release. And it takes a long time to release new things, because every product takes so much care. You know, it has to go through a certain thing, we gotta test it, we gotta make sure it's right, gotta make sure it's the right formula, gotta make sure, you know, it's sourced correctly. And then as it rolls out, then it has to make sure that everybody can love it, right? Because I want to have the same benefits that we have, I wanna have the same benefits for you guys as well too. And that's how we are with every product. And that's why sometimes we'll have a product and we might rotate it, and then now we're coming out with a new one. We're coming out with a new one with black ginger, which I'm really excited for, and that's gonna replace our ginkgo that used to be on the website. That's gonna be a real cool one, and it's like a tea, and it's gonna be real cool, and I'm excited for that one. But that's our new replacement I've been working on in the background, and I'm working on a couple other things. Then I'm also working on a shower filter, then I'm also working on some stuff for gardening, I'm also working on a book, I'm also working on a couple ebooks. There's a lot of stuff that's gonna roll out in the next couple months that's going to soup, basically evolve the website as well. And all for all information for you guys as well too, because I try to put everything that I'm saying into these lives also into paper and into different things that you guys can read as well too, so that you can also educate other people and bring forth this knowledge, because that's what we need to do. We need to send this information to everybody so that we can change things. Because if we just keep doing the same thing, then we're just going through the same cycle that we've been going through for a long time. So we got to change that and speed that up and also bring forth the truth because the truth spreads faster than lies. That's at least how I see it. You know, they can keep lying and making up all this nonsense, but the truth will just keep coming out. 
That's why on Telegram, I've been trying to put out as much information as I can. I'm plant-based, what helps with diabetes? Now, it depends on what type of diabetes you have. If you have diabetes type two, that would be diet related. If you have diabetes type one, that would be electrical stimulation. And you should look into the book, The Invisible Rainbow, because diabetes can actually be too much electrical stimulation on the body. Um, basically the pancreas is electrified and that would lead to type one diabetes in my opinion. And then type two diabetes is just the body needs to be cleaned up and uh, you're not doing something correctly in your diet and that would help reduce. Now you can also look at tremella mushroom, which we have on our website. Tremella mushroom is a great mushroom for balancing the blood sugar and keeping the body at a normal level. Because the problem with anything with diabetes related is you just have blood sugar imbalances and tremella can actually come in there. You can put in your smoothies and you can help balance out your blood sugar so that your body can start to heal. Because that's the other thing. Diabetes is just a form of showing that the body is out of balance or you know, dis-ease, it's out of ease. And that's all it is. Once you start cleaning up things in the body, you know, going organic, changing up your diet, things like that, that can heal you pretty quickly. And also movement as well too. Any type of exercise helps as well. And then getting rid of any type of smart watches, Wi-Fi devices, all of that, anything that's pinging, because that pinging speeds up your blood sugar being consum consumed, right? That's why when a person sits on a phone and they're looking at it like this and they sit there for maybe 30, 40 minutes and they're going through it and their brain is functioning through the device, they start to burn up all their blood sugar and they become hungry. And that's the problem with all these radiations and all these devices is that the fact that it messes up the blood sugar tremendously. And that's why we'll see a spike in people having blood sugar issues with AirPods and all these other devices in their ears and things like that. Meat equals no sugar. Yes, meat equals no sugar. Yes, there's no sugar in meat. Thoughts on psoriasis. That's the one, that's a skin issue. That is, you could do, you could look into dragon's blood with that situation. You could put dragon's blood on topically and that will help heal the skin. And then you can also take dragon's blood internally with our new capsules, which is funny. These new new ones we just launched. So you can take one capsule and then you probably take one capsule, put in some coconut oil or shea butter or seed, or not seed oil, uh, shea butter or coconut butter. And you can put some dragon's blood in there, blend it all up in a blender. And then you could apply that topically to your skin. Problem is, is with any type of skin thing is you're just suffering from a usually lack of nutrients, or it could be something in your terrain, which is causing you to have a skin issue. Like for example, fluoride or chlorine in the water. You could also get a shower filter and a shower filter can help as well too because of the chlorine might be messing up your skin because that's another big one as well too. Hope that answers the question as well. Let's see, exactly, thanks Matt. Is hemp milk, I'm happy to put it out there, Chris. Is hemp milk okay? Now it depends because now, it, is it really hemp milk? You know, is it really almond milk? Is it really whatever nut milk that they make? problem with all these milks is usually they put synthetic fillers in them such as xanthex gum such as maltodextrin such as natural flavors such as artificial flavors and they're refortified with a lot of different vitamins and minerals so the issue with that is that the you know when you're consuming these things they're usually synthetically created and it's not really from the source and like even the for example like oat milk you know there's no milk that comes from oats so it's really hard to do so they usually are loaded with a lot of fillers and a lot of other things you're better off if you're going to do any type of milk, you should do raw milk, which is unpasteurized. And unpasteurized milk is in its collodial form. It's in the most natural form that the body can absorb. That's why collodial, if you ever see like collodial supplements, they always get you know removed off of all of these websites is because collodial is in the perfect electrical form for our body to absorb. So raw milk is in the exact same form and that's what makes it so um, absorbable to the body. And they're trying to push all these alternative milks but the problem with all the alternative milks is like I said, they have a lot of fillers, they have gums, they can lead to bloating, they lead to congestion, you can't absorb them, or they put artificial flavors in there which are not plant-based, right? Natural flavors are not from plants, so that's a big thing as well too. So if you're trying to be, for example, plant-based and you're eating any type of flavoring, it's coming from an animal source and a lot of different sources. I can, If I talk about that one, we'll definitely get kicked off of the Instagram. But basically anything with flavoring you want to avoid as well too. Spider plants help with Wi-Fi and mine never does. That's amazing. I didn't know about that. I, I didn't know about the spider plant can actually help with the Wi-Fi. And that's good to know. And I'll have to do my research on that. I've heard great things. There's like a spider plant, there's a snake plant, and there's a couple other ones. And I've heard great things. I just, I think it depends. I know mushrooms also grow really well with Wi-Fi, which is interesting too. Like they absorb it. But then the question is, is if you eat those, 
then you get the toxicity of the radiation. You know, so that's the thing. It's always like this catch-22 because it's kind of like even with moringa seeds. You can use moringa seeds to filter water and pull all the toxins out. But if you go to eat the seed, now you're eating all those heavy metals and that can wreak havoc on the body. Soma Vedic. So I've heard a lot of things about Soma Vedic. I've heard mixed reviews. I've seen interesting things, for example, like just different stuff. A lot of these different devices, I don't know how well they truly work because I personally would just remove the Wi-Fi from my house. But if your only alternative is some sort of device like that, it might help. I just don't know. I've seen things where like the plants are like warped and the leaves become all different types of weird angles. So I thought that was really strange. You know, so in my opinion, I don't know if the technology does what it does. And I, that's the thing, a lot of this stuff, because you're trying to remove something that's all around us, right? That's like pinging, it's like toxic, whatever sludge in the air. So it's, I don't know if it can actually just mitigate it or how about this? Let's say it mitigates at 50%, but then you still have that other 50% in your home. It's better off, in my opinion, you'd get rid of the Wi-Fi and hardwire than the device. Now, if you're traveling on the go and you could not do that, then Soma Vedic maybe could be something for that. But I don't know. I don't, they, I, I never, I've, I've researched into a couple of these companies, but I've looked into it and I've understood the technology with like the cobalt and all the different stuff that they use, but I've never really gotten heavily into it because I've realized, you know, I, I, there's so much out, unfortunately, that I feel like is a lot of gimmicks and I'm just being brutally honest right here but a lot of gimmicks and I don't know if they actually do what they do. And that's why, unless I've tested them and feel felt them in my hands and know the difference of like this thing's turned on and all of a sudden, and for example, I've been in places where they have like a, a EMF protector. I mean, I could still feel it. I could feel it in my body. I could feel it in my skull. I could feel it in my body or, or in my bones. So is it really doing something or is it more placebo, you know, or is it just pinging a very small radius, right? Like maybe it's this big, and then it's only pinging that radius, but the whole room is much bigger. And that's why I like, I think there was one a long time ago, I saw like a year ago that, I don't remember who was promoting it, but there was one that I saw like a year ago and you had to get a bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger one. I mean, sooner or later you need one like six feet tall to get rid of this pinging and everything else. So I feel like in my opinion, maybe if you needed it to travel, it might be useful, but overall I don't know. And you'd have to also get an EMF tester and test to make sure that, for example, those frequencies are being blocked because a lot of these will say, well, the EMF tester doesn't show that it's different. Well, then if it's not going to zero, then it's not really helping me, even if it's supposedly spinning it and making it better and whatever else. It's hard for me to believe. And that's that's kind of how I see it. And I guess that's my take on it. Love the six mix. Six mix is awesome. I throw it in our coffee every single day. I mean, just a little pinch and it just it's a great flavor. And it also just Get your brain going, get your digestion going, getting your body going, you know, bringing the nutrients back into the body to heal the body because that's what we're missing. We're nutrient starved. We're, we're, we're being, you know, we're, the minerals are being ripped from the soil and then we need superfoods to help heal the body. And that's just what it is because our foods no longer provide us nutrients. I mean, think about like next time you go to the grocery store and you look at the fruit, the fruit is like literally the size of my hand and has no color on the inside, some of these things. You could cut open a tomato and it's white on the inside. That means there's, it's just water. There's no life force to that. And that's the problem is when they do all this stuff with the nonsense of, for example, like, you know, faster growing and growing and growing, you start to rip the nutrients out of the foods as well too. And then you're not giving the plant time for it to harness and for it to do its thing, right? Because everything in nature needs its time to, to curate and create and cultivate and all of that. But if you start speeding up things and you try to make it faster and you try to pick them quicker, you know, for example, you go get a pear and it has to wait two weeks for it to ripen. That means there's something not correct because it shouldn't take two weeks. You know, that's the other thing we have to be aware. We have to be connected to our food. When we go to touch it, how does it feel? You know, you squeeze it, feel it, all that stuff to be aware of those things so that we know that, you know, we're, we're consuming the right thing and it will resonate with your body. Frequency is everything. I've been reading in tons of stuff about frequency, about plants and all the other stuff about frequency. Everything will resonate with you. You can take something, literally put it in your hand, ask it a question like, is this tomato for me? And then you'll get a signal into your brain if that tomato should be eaten or if not. But we've lost that because now we're just going with whatever, let's say the market is telling us. And we have to start going back into connecting to our instinct to understand that 
you know, these things have changed and we need to be aware of that. So that's not. Mushrooms are fungus, spores are not good. Actually, reishi mushroom spores are really beneficial to the body. So it's interesting because you would think, you know, this is the whole thing. You got fungus, so then mold, right? But it depends on the type. That's the thing. It also always depends on the type, you know? And it's interesting because, how about this? We have a ton of people with mold. Let's, let's go with this. Let's go open up a Pandora's box. You got mold toxicity through the roof, right? Everybody, I, I see it all the time on social media. Mold toxicity. I see professionals, mold toxicity, mold toxicity. Guess what is the number one culprit of mold? Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi grows mold. No one talks about the Wi-Fi, but we talk about the mold, right? We need to be addressing the root causes of these things. But now, interestingly enough, that could be black mold and that could be toxic to our body if it's built up inside the body because there's water in the walls. But remember also, not as only is there water in the walls because of the moisture that builds up, these toxins, when they get wet, guess what? They start to emit chemicals as well too. So it's not only just the mold, it's the moisture and the moisture that's in these toxins that's emitting all of that as well too. Now, if we flip other sides, you go out into the wild and you find, for example, chaga mushroom, reishi mushroom, lion's mane, turkey tail, whatever it may be, you let it ripen, it gets to its beautiful color and you go to consume that or cook it, you will actually get all these beneficial nutrients to your body and those spores as well too because spores are like seeds, right? You have seeds of the plant and you have spores of the mushroom. And that's the, the life force energy that they're trying to get rid of with Monsanto. Monsanto is trying to create a bunch of seedless foods that don't have seeds in them and don't have the life force in them so that we can consume, for example, seedless watermelon. That's a real popular one. You go to the grocery store and it's always seedless. It means you're just eating pure sugar. That's what it is. And you're eating no, there's no life force in that food because the seed the seed that creates all the life, just like when a, when a person makes a baby, it's the exact same thing. There's sperm and an egg, and they combine together, and they create life. That's what it is. So they're removing that from the grocery store so that you're no longer getting and consuming that life force that's beneficial to the body. You can look into Kirlian photography as well, which goes more into life force and all of the energy on that. But yes, as for the mushrooms and fungus, you know, it's interesting because there's, you know, there, you always get different sides, and you have to look at things from every angle. That's what I've started doing. You start analyzing everything from every single angle, 360 degrees, so that you can start to see through certain things or certain people who push certain things. Because I've realized there's a lot of people who are in the health world and they push certain things, but they don't understand what they're even pushing or what they're talking about. And that's the whole same thing with copper is bad. I've heard this so many times as well. But if you look back in ancient times, this is a great one too. There's a lot of people, copper's bad, copper's toxic, copper's this, blah, blah, blah. But if you look back in ancient times, Bronze Age, you look at the, um, you look at the, the, yeah, the, sorry, the Bronze Age, the Gold Age, Golden Age, all of that, they used tons of copper. They used tons of bronze. They used tons of tin. They used tons of brass. It's interesting. So if it was really toxic, why were they all using it? That's all they were using. But then when the Iron Age came, they basically inverted everything. And that's when certain groups of people took over and they got rid of all the copper and they got rid of the bronze and they got rid of all the tin and they replaced it with iron because they understood that if you started putting iron into the soil, you could diminish your yields and you can also diminish the life force of the soil. So it's interesting because a lot of flips, right? Just a lot of flipping and a lot of inverting. And that's what we see today with all the, the media, right? The Greek goddess, the media, you can look into that as well too, but that's what that is. They always invert everything. When you watch something and you're like, why would they even say that? Because they're trying to invert it and they're trying to normalize it to desensitize us to make it seem like it's all completely normal, that this should be on television, right? They're telling you a vision because they're trying to enforce that vision into your mind and deep into your subconscious mind to make it normal and make it okay so that you agree with it. Same thing we're seeing now with all the stuff with the running out of water and everything else, all of that can be fixed instantaneously. They fixed it back in the 1950s, fixed it in the 1940s. And this is what's crazy. I was doing some more research and uh, this is funny. So the climate people like the, the General Electric and all the electric companies, these people who are pushing all of us and saying that we're using too much electricity and too much water and all of that, I found out that General Electric actually hired some dowsers back in the day and found themselves primary water wells. Hmm, that's interesting. So all the information in which we posted about is technically misleading and dangerous and fake and everything else, but the electric companies were using dowsers to find primary water. 
So if we're worried about water consumption, they're using unlimited amounts of water, but we don't talk about that. Also, the medical industries also hired dowsers so that they could get water for all their little, little, we'll say candies that they're giving out to people or little pills that they're trying to give out to people. Those also require primary water, but they deionize that water. They take the ionization out of that water so it's toxic to the body. So they inverted the water, but they get primary water for free. They make trillions of dollars and they resell it to people with the toxic water inside of it. That's the bait and switch that goes in with all of these things. And it's important to look at things, like I was saying, from every angle, because when you start to understand it, you start to see it. And then, like I said, then they start to come out and ban all the information and say it's misleading and dangerous and everything else because it's the truth. And they're afraid that when the truth comes out, people are going to become aware of the nonsense and see that they've been fooled in so many ways. That was a long tangent on mushrooms and everything else, but it goes kind of hand in hand. Let's see what else we got. You the man was in Hawaii and saw your products there. That's awesome. Picked up the new Shilajah Trops and they are fantastic. Putting in an order for two or three, two to three packs today. Thank you for all you do. Happy to hear that. And yes, we did just launch our Shilajat in Hawaii and I'm excited to, you know, do that. And it's amazing. And I'm happy. I, I met a lot of people through social media and they resonated on the same frequency as us. And that's why we're out there now. And our tablets are out there and you can go out there and buy them. And it's amazing, you know, and it's interesting because through all this stuff in the last couple of years, I mean, it's just wild to watch our company grow and all of our products and everything change and everything, but all the people who support us, right? All the people who support everything that we do and all the videos and information and everything, emails, customer service response. It's just, it's two people. It's two people running this, this, and that's it. And, you know, and that's it. And we're trying to do our best to help heal and provide solutions and provide high quality products that do not have synthetic fillers, synthetic flavors, synthetic anything, because that's the problem with a lot of this industry. And it drives me mad that you can pick up something and it can have an ingredient in it that will block the ability for you to absorb that. So it just completely is counterproductive towards consuming something to try to heal the body. But yes, as for the new Shilajah tablets, they, will, they give you a ton of energy. I take two a day and I'm good to go. Sometimes I've taken three. I've done threes. I've done two when I wake up with my coffee. And then I've done one in the afternoon. And I pretty much, I think I can stay up till like midnight, which is, yeah, it's it's wild. The Shilajah energy in the tablet is just awesome. And I'm thankful we launched those because they've been going crazy. Any recommendations for heavy metal detox and removal for the the MF MF or gene? I don't know what that. I, I've seen that thing, but I don't know what it is, and I've never researched into it. But actually, for and I'm not going to swear on Instagram or whatever. But with the uh, heavy metal detox, you can look into shilajan that will help pull heavy metals out of the body. You can also look into chaga mushroom can work as well too for that. But pretty much Shilajat, I would say, would be the go-to. Dragon's blood can also help because it helps clean out the blood. But Shilajat, I would say, would be the best because there's 75% fulvic acid in there. And that fulvic acid works really well for pulling out heavy metals. There's also humic acid inside Shilajat, which is really good for pulling out the graphene that they're trying to place into all of these different things. And I put up a study on that about, I think, a couple weeks ago or so. But Shilajat would be probably one of the best for heavy metal detox because the problem is, is when you build up all these toxins... They start to, you know, just wreak havoc on the body and those metals can wreak havoc on the body. So Shilajat can work as a great solution for that. You can also look into cilantro, tamarind paste, and bentonite clay as well too. I try to give a lot of different solutions depending on what it is. How are you doing on marketing? How are you, how are you doing your marketing when you started your brand? When I started the brand, honestly, I just went to Instagram and started putting up some little pictures. That was pretty much it, you know, and we kind of just started connecting through people and that was it. I mean, and I joined a telegram group with coach Jay Carter and I met a lot of people in that too, as well. A couple, there was a, a, a couple, about 50 people, you know, in the, in the beginning of cultivate elevate as well, too. I met some people through telegram as well, but mostly just Instagram and now some TikTok. But like I said, they censor on both. So I've been doing some stuff with rumble telegram and YouTube now as well, too, but I just everywhere. I mean, I find a platform that I can put my videos up on and now I do it. I used to put up a lot of stuff on BitChute as well too, but they've destroyed that website and you can't even load a video and you can't even open it on your phone. I mean, it's it's crazy. Like that's how far the censorship stuff goes where the stuff just doesn't work. You can't physically load it or can't open it. So I've been doing a lot with YouTube, Rumble and Telegram now as well too. 
If our neighbor has Wi-Fi, will it affect us even if we get rid of it in our home? So, okay, so with the Wi-Fi thing, it only can go to a certain extent and it limits it out as you go farther out, right? So like, let's say my, my head is the house and then the Wi-Fi is coming out to here. It's probably gonna go to about here. You might be able to connect to it through your home, like because of the way that maybe the whatever their device is, but it's not gonna really do the damage or in my opinion, the impact, right? Like we're, for example, in this complex, there's a bunch of people they can have, they probably have it all over around us and whatever else, and there's there's, goofy tower and whatever else over there and blah, blah, blah. But when you remove the stuff from your home, it really makes a big difference because your house almost can work like a Faraday cage as well too. So it's the cru the most crucial is starting with your home and whatever your neighbors and everything else are doing, it is what it is. But it's mostly cleaning up your home because in general, when you bring the little box into your room, like let's say you brought the box into this room, you are pinging this room. Like it's not pinging, it's not pinging probably through these walls because these walls are pretty thick, but it's definitely pinging in this room. So you need to be aware of that. So the first part I would say is just cleaning up your home from the Wi-Fi, And then, like I said, you can always get an EMF meter, go around your home and see if there's any hot spots that you don't know about. And then maybe you would want to stay away from those. You might have a chair in a spot where it's pinging all the time and you might not know that there's a smart meter behind that. So it's important to go around your home and check those things as well too. Meat is dead flesh. Yes, I've heard it. I've heard it. There's all different types. You can be all different types of diets. You can have all different types of blood types. We're all different people. We're all different genetic makeups, you know, and it's just, that's pretty much what it is. And it just depends. There's a lot of people who've been plant-based who go back to eating meat. There's a lot of people who are meat-based and they start eating plants. Everybody has the full right to do what they want to do. That's kind of how I see it. And I support anybody's way of eating. I've done fasting, I've done vegetarian, I've done vegan, I've done plant-based, I've done paleo, I've done keto, I've done everything you can think of. And I think it's important to be aware of maybe whatever your journey is at your time, and we should respect that. And the thing is, is we can't just demonize animals, right? Because that's what that is, it's demonizing the animals. Those animals have been mistreated and maybe put in a slaughterhouse and all types of all kinds of weird stuff that you know that they don't need to go through. But there are pasture raised farms where animals live really nice lives and we just never talk about that. And actually with their recycling factor, because when they eat, they actually help with manure and all this stuff to help recycle and help recycle the earth. It's kind of like, for example, right now up in Northern Arizona, the grass is almost three feet or four feet high. You need cows to come and eat that grass, otherwise, Lightning is going to hit that grass, and then there's going to be mass fires all over the place. That's why the harmony of balance is everything, and that's what these people who try to invert all of the truth, they want to us they want us eating bugs, okay? They want us eating bugs and, and actually eating each other, right? That's pretty much what it is. It's Soylent Green. You can watch the movie 1971, Soylent Green, and you can see the agenda in which they're trying to push. So I have a respect for anybody who does whatever they feel, but also in a respect for nature as well, too. And that's just kind of how it is. And also, too, if we get into it, the blood types, right? O blood type. O blood type is the highest meat-eating blood type on the planet as well, too. And I'm not defending. I'm just explaining little simple things. But 40% of the world is O blood type. That means 40% of the world would have to remove the way that they eat that's naturally instilled into their blood type. It doesn't make a lot of sense unless there's money behind it to convince. Now, obviously, you can talk about consciousness. You can talk about feelings. We can go on a whole different topic as well, too. But I support whatever a person feels, and that's best for them. If you want to be vegan, if you want to be paleo, if you want to be vegetarian, whatever's good for you works for me. Like I said, I see it from all different angles, and I've tried everything. And I've seen sometimes where I've done no meat for two months. I've done meat for whatever. It just depends on how I feel. The problem is, is too, is you're not eating the correct foods that we're supposed to be eating that actually could be causing adverse reactions. There's a video I'm going to share in the next couple days where they can genetically modify meat to make people allergic to it so they can make them stop eating it. That's intention. That's the problem. There's intentions behind these things. And then it goes into, that's where the whole gluten-free thing came from. Everybody became gluten-free because they were all having gluten issues. The reason they became gluten-free is because the gluten was so sprayed heavily with pesticides and glyphosate and also additional wheat gluten was added to it that gluten-free became a trend. So it's important to understand if you follow the money and you start looking at these things, you can start seeing that certain trends are also a part of that as well too. That's how I kind of see it. So that's my take on it. 
Let's see what else we got in here. We got a bunch of people. It's good. I'm happy to see we got a lot of people joining in here, which is amazing. If you eat whole foods, drink actual water, you don't need things for energy. It's true. You're right. Exactly. If you eat, drink, if you drink structured living water, you don't need much for energy. You will have natural energy. Like I have natural energy all the time. If you eat whole foods you, and you grow them, that's the key point in that faction. If you grow those foods, you will have tons of energy because they will have tons of life force. If you use electroculture as well too, which I've been talking about a lot, and you use that for your gardens, your plants will have even more life force and they will bring you more energy and more nutrients and bring back vitality. Congrats. It's the, 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 the let me see what else we got here. I'll send you the information, Janelle. I'll send you the information on the where we have our Shilajad as well too. Informational, psychological, psychological, spiritual, biological warfare. That's it. It's all different types. I can, I can, that was a long sentence. I barely could put those. Just wait six months and it'll be the truth. Exactly. That's what I, that's, that's what I said in that one video. Just give it about six weeks and all of a sudden it's coming true because that's what we see, right? It's all this like, it's fake. It's true. It's, it's not, or I'm sorry, it's misleading. It's false information. Six weeks later, they're literally admitting it and saying, oh yeah, we, you know, it was actually correct, but we like deleted all your pages and removed your accounts and said you were fake and said you were misleading, but then we're gonna say it so that we can be the heroes so that you guys can be like, oh yeah, that's what it is. It's all this just inversion of things. And you know, we just have to pay attention to that and then just follow the money, right? If you start following the money, you can understand where everything is going to lead to because the money is funding into those things. And that's what we have to pay attention to because wherever the money is being diverted to is going to push the next thing, right? Let's look up, for example, if you want to go into a thing, you can look into the SPARS pandemic of 2025, S-P-A-R-S pandemic 2025. Interestingly enough, that will come right after the election and not to say picking and choosing sides or anything, but it's interesting that that was played out to be 2025, which is one year after the next election. Just like 2020 was Event 201, and they did the whole entire thing. Event 201 was the whole entire playbook of everything to come for 2020 and 2021. So if we just look at these things and we follow where the money is being funded, you can see. And, you know, it's important to be aware that 2020 and 2021 was a test run, and that when the next one they attempt to try to do, we need to be aware that germ theory was debunked. We need to be aware that there's no germs jumping all over and all these other things. We need to be aware of these things so that we can see through the nonsense so they can't play their little plans. Just like with the money, the money pox. Remember all that that they were trying to do? That all fizzled out real fast because people were aware of the nonsense and the BS that they're trying to push. So that's it. And I like your name, Conscious and Thriving. That's the best way to be. Let's see what else we got in here. Does Shilajan not go well with other supplements? So it depends. It depends on what supplements you're taking, and it might start getting darker in here. I'm not sure if it's changing or not, but just let me know. But Shilajan will help the absorption of other supplements that you're consuming, right? It increases the absorption of other things that you're consuming. But if you are consuming a supplement with any type of synthetic fillers, like maltodextrin, citric acid, natural flavors, anything like that, it will pull all of that out of your body because the, the tox, the, those synthetic in, in other ingredients, if you, have a, if you have a vitamin, just turn it over and then read the other ingredients. If it says there's a whole bunch of other ingredients, then that supplement is unfortunately diluted. And then it depends also on the supplement as well, but Shilajal might pull all that out of you because it's trying to balance out the body. Because what it does is it's just a, it's, it's an adaptogen that balances the body and pulls heavy metals and toxins out. So it can work really well with certain supplements. If you stack it with mushrooms, if you stack it with a cup of coffee, if you stack it with natural things, but when you add anything that's potentially a supplement that's got synthetic things, then it can work a little against it. So it's just to be important to aware and just read the labels. Anytime you buy a supplement, read the labels and read the other ingredients and, and just check through those. Because a lot of these little companies will put like, for example, a vitamin D product out and then they will put soy lecithin in the other ingredients and that soy lecithin will block the vitamin D so that you're not absorbing that vitamin D. So it's important to be aware about that. Wi-Fi does what now? Wi-Fi messes up the brain, messes up the body, messes up the heart, right? It messes up everything of your cellular body, right? This whole entire temple that you have, Wi-Fi basically emits a 2.4 or 5 gigahertz microwave frequency that cooks the body, cooks the brain, cooks the eyes, cooks the organs. I mean, you see a lot of people, they're starting to develop, I think it's like intestinal cancers and all these types of different things, prostate cancer, right? That's another big one. Wi-Fi, that's pretty much what it is. Frequencies, radiation, 
Radiation cooks organs, radiation cooks the body, so it's important to get rid of Wi-Fi and hardwire your devices. And you can look up the documentary, Take Back Your Power, you can look up 5G Apocalypse, I mean, you can look up a lot, there's so much on it, just research and use different platforms other than Google, because Google will give you biased information. It's getting darker and darker in here, I'm losing it. Uh, let's see, da, 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 da. What is SPARS? SPARS is the next thing. Just type in SPARS pandemic into Google. Thank you, Matt, waiting on the order, but I gladly support the local vendors. Yes, I'll send you the information, Janelle, on that as well, too. Unrelated to the current topic, but does Dragon Boats help detox from the pokes? Had to had to keep them. Now, that depends because the problem is, is with all of these little things that they put out, each thing can be different. Each batch can be different, and we don't really know what's in any of these things, right? I mean, I've seen some crazy videos some wild videos of what's in this stuff and we don't really know what's in what and each batch was different and that's the hardest part is the problem is is knowing what's in it um but you know anytime when it comes to detoxing you can look into different types of clays you can look into cilantro you can look into tamarind paste different things like that to help pull things out of the body as well too dun, dun, dun. living water filter i'm actually working on one as we speak so that will be coming out soon what do you think about powdered collagen? Well, powdered collagen, the problem is, is it can be loaded with heavy metals and depending on where it's sourced from, you have to be aware of that. Vital Proteins, I think it's one of the biggest collagen companies out there. They're owned by Kellogg's, I think, or Nestle, whichever one it is. So you have to follow who owns the company. Anytime you're purchasing something, and this relates even to the supplement world, look up who owns the company. If you type in you know, collagen peptides, who owns Vital proteins and look at who owns it because you might start to go down a couple of different rabbit holes to see, oh my gosh, I didn't even know that this company owns it. Like Clorox, for example, Clorox bleach, which is toxic chemicals that are used to clean clothes, actually own a bunch of healthy vitamins and supplements. So it's important to be aware of who you're purchasing from when you're purchasing. What are your thoughts on Kangen water versus hydrogen water? Well, Kangen does also hydrogen as well too. But hydrogen is very beneficial to the body because hydrogen is ripped out of the body from EMF. So it can actually be beneficial. But the real question is, is Kangen water or hydrogen water, if you filter the heavy metals, that's the other important part or other aspect that you need to look at. If you're not filtering out the fluoride and the toxins and all of the pesticides, the hydrogen can help, but you know it's more important to filter that, in my opinion, because those will wreak havoc on the body. What is a good healthy coffee to drink? Anything organic when you're doing coffee. Reason being is because organic coffee is not loaded with pesticides. Any time you, time you drink from a conventional coffee place, such as Starbucks, such as Dunkin' Donuts, such as any place that serves coffee, if it's not organic, unfortunately coffee is one of the highest sprayed pesticide foods on the planet. So if you're consuming a conventional coffee, you're bringing a plethora of heavy metals into the body. And then also there's molds and toxins and all those other stuff. So it's important to just look for an organic brand. Go to, for example, Whole Foods, Sprouts, Natural Grocers. You can go to a small store too. You go to a farmer's market and you can find organic coffee and support one of their brands. There's so many out there. There's definitely so many. You can even go to Home Goods. They sometimes have it as well too. How do you hardwire a home? So what you do is you remove the Wi-Fi from your router. There's a little box on there. You, you type into your, basically into your router. You disable the Wi-Fi. You disable the guest Wi-Fi. And then what you do is you take a hardwire and you run that cord to any of your devices in which you want to use the internet with. And that's pretty much how you do it. It's very, very simple. And once you do it, it's faster. It's about 100 times faster because you're running that cord and that wire will ping very quickly. And it's also not emitting Wi-Fi into the home. Those pinging. And that's the problem is you cannot see these frequencies, but they're impacting our brain. They impact our eyes, our heart, and our whole entire frequency, right? That's what it is. It's pinging a different frequency. And the biggest problem with all this Wi-Fi nonsense and all these things that they're trying to put out is that they just use whatever frequency they want to use. That's the biggest issue. They can use any frequency they want, and we don't know what that's going to cause to our health, health right? Because there's no long-term health or long-term studies. We are the long-term study. And that's the part of why I'm so adamant about why we need to get rid of the stuff out of our homes and start changing things up because I, I don't want to be a test subject for any of these things. Let me see what else we got. When are you bringing out a book on electroculture and where can we learn more in the meantime? In the meantime, you can go to cultivateelevate.com 
and you can type in electroculture in our blog or in our search and it'll come up with all these different ones. We have a new blog called Electroculture for Beginners and that will go into that. And then the book, I'm aiming in the next two months to do two different books and then a whole bunch of information. So I'll be launching fast and trying to get everything going, but that's the go time for it. And I have a bunch of information I'm gonna put in there and I think it's gonna do really well and it'll just help give you guys better ideas of how to set up your garden. And then I'm also gonna be coming out with something that will work really well for your garden as well too. I think that's it. It's getting so dark, I know. It's so, I'm slowly, slowly fading away into the dark and whatever. So I'll probably just cut it here. I didn't realize it was gonna get that dark by 549, but I will cut it here for today. And if you guys have any questions more about any of our products or any of our stuff, just send me a message. And um, yeah, if you, I'm happy everybody got to attend and we'll do another one next Monday. And I thank you all for being here. And I'll hit on this last question just before it gets too dark is how did you originally learn about electroculture? Why isn't it more known? And the last one is because when I started learning about Victor Schauberger's work and all of Victor Schauberger's work of his free energy devices, him understanding vortexes, him understanding the forest, living water, structured water, when I started getting into all of that, it all connected me into electroculture and copper and brass and all of these different things because Victor Schauberger presented this to the government that they could use copper tools to grow more food. So I pretty much started jumping into all these different things and started realizing, oh my gosh, we need to be doing this. You know, we need to be doing this so that we can grow more food and have abundance. So that's kind of the short story. And then it was a lot of books and information from there. So I wish you guys all the best. I will see you next Monday. And Janelle, I'll send you as well to the stuff with uh, Shilja tabs. And if you guys have any more questions about any of our products, send me a message. I wish you guys all a happy week and get out there, get in nature and do some barefoot grounding. And if you guys have any questions about our six mix Shilja, Dragon's Blood capsules or that, just let me know. Best wishes.